What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding! Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very humbled. But even more so, I'm very appreciative. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you. So, you know, a lot of people are been sliding in my DMs or asking me on the lives about the marvelous American Cholo situation, okay? And to be totally honest with you, I'm at the point in this content creation and what I'm doing right here where it's like, you know, those guys do their own thing. Them guys give a lot of klecha, a lot of education to people, you know? It doesn't matter what friction, what beef, what um, controversy is going on between them two, people are still going to tune in, but they're going to tune in even more so because of the drama, because of what they believe, um, you know, is some type of drama. And they're going to pick sides. doesn't matter. If you're an AC fan, you're going to roll with American Cholo no matter what, right or wrong. And the same thing goes for Marvelous, right or wrong. Now, to me, both those guys um, are for the Raza. Both of those guys have content that they put out daily, you know, um, that speaks some real shit. You know, it doesn't matter who you choose to rock with or who you choose to support. You know, at the end of the day, we're all brown. We're all brown. We're all just brown men uh, putting content out, whether it's comedic like mine's and it's funny, it's educational, it's more based off cultura, um, it's breaking news or it's drama related, whatever. We're all brown men in the same struggle. We're all trying to bring you guys entertainment. You know, so people are going to pick sides. It's just the way it goes. So when I heard that there was a situation between the two, I wasn't aware. You know, I was aware that there was in the past um, some water that wasn't quite under the bridge. I know that there's been some back and forth for a very long time between them two. But I thought it kind of mellowed out. I thought it kind of simmered down and it was what it was. You know, I thought there was conversations that were probably had behind the scenes um, and not white flags being waved, but people that can discuss things. See, men discuss things. You can pick up a phone and discuss things and be like, hey, bro, you know, I know I said a lot or we've done a lot to each other in the past. But at the end of the day, you know, is it that serious? Is it worth being incarcerated for? Is it worth starting something bigger than just a fucking rivalry or, or drama or an attack upon each other where other people have to become involved? Because that's what happens. Everybody wants to stick their nose in the business. Everybody wants to involve themselves. You know, and it becomes a thing where it's not only you and that one other man. Not There's no more one-on-one. -on -one. Now, it involves a lot of people, a lot of people talking about it. A lot of people try to instigate and pump shit up. And that's what seems to be happening with this situation. You know, American Cholo is a grown man, a family man, a hard worker. Marvelous is the same thing. You know, in fact, I have more in common with Marvelous than he even knows. You know, being the type of father that he is, taking his children, doing his thing with his kids, I do the same thing. So I can understand that plight, man. You know, a lot of decisions we've made in the past are now coming back, whether to haunt us or affect our lives. And like men, we're stepping up and taking care of those decisions we made when we were younger. I can totally identify and I could identify with Gil too, being a hard worker, getting up every morning, lacing those boots, going out there, doing the trabajo. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. That's what raza is. Hardworking, taking care of familia. It's not just gang banging and prison and and all that, it's not all about that. I mean, people like to hear about that because they're intrigued by the stories and by the guerra and the get down. But really, man, there's more to it than that. There's a beautiful culture. You know, there's um, a fight and a struggle against oppression. There's so much more that can be had in this. There's so much more that can be said that these two guys do for the community rather than, you know, just drama. So anyways, like I said, I thought um, the drama was over from the past. You know, um, but I guess it continues, you know, as the story goes. And there's always going to be two versions to a story and then the truth. There's always going to be, you know, one side against the other side. And depending upon who you side with is who you're going to believe. But just because you believe that individual because you rock with him for whatever reason doesn't mean the other person is less than or weaker. Um, doesn't mean any of that. You know, it just means, you know, it's up to you to decipher who you feel is right or wrong in a situation, um, that really doesn't concern you. 
See, at the end of the day, this situation doesn't concern me. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. And I don't hope that these guys don't lose sleep over it. Because people like to stir up drama. And they'll make it much worse than it really was or really is. So, you know, what people are saying is that they happen to run into each other at, a, I don't know if it was a car show or some type of event. And that they're, that they've seen each other, you know. And one side is saying that they seen Marvelous and that he looked uh, uh, not his best that day. And then, you know, I'm sure from Marvelous' side, he's saying it, that wasn't the case, you know. Um, and whether there was words that were spoken between the two, you know, I've heard many different variations and versions of the story um, where Marvelous did approach Gil, and then they're saying Gil did approach Marvelous. Um, it doesn't matter who approached who. There should have been no approaching period. First of all, it's a it's a it's a public place. There's children. From what I'm hearing, uh, Big Marv had his daughter with them. Um, you know, but sometimes when you're, you come from that '90s era, you come from that gangbanging era. Whether you have your children with you or not, it's hard to see the adversary, the opposition, someone that you don't like right there and not at least say something. I understand. But as a father, you got to grit your teeth and bite that bullet, humps, that silver bullet, werewolf shit. You have to be able to understand that there's a time and a place for everything. Um, but, you know, to each their own. It's different for everybody. You know, it's not saying that he's not a great father or a good father. I'm sure he's a fantastic father. He had his daughter out there. You know, but when you're a public figure, man, there's always drama. You know, that's what sucks about this YouTube shit or any type of social media. You know, there's always going to be people that are hating or there's beef. And you can't just be normal and have your children out there in the public and doing your thing because there's always someone that wants to fucking do something um, to you because they think it's going to earn them a stripe or for the cloud. Hey, guess what? I, I fucking took off on that dude. You know, people are going to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did you hear the new Drake diss song? That's that's it. That's about as far as that goes. No one cares, really. You know, your just little inner circle or your little crew will be happy about it. But in a week from now, that's not what you're going to be talking about. They're going to be talking about how you got bombed on next. In retaliation it's just like that so anyways these guys i guess met up at a place and both were with their own you know i heard marvelous was with this kid and and gil was with a couple homeboys and you know they had words you know there was people said that people were called out to the bathroom and 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 this this and that i'm gonna tell you right now if i'm with my child and you call me to a bathroom or you call me around there i ain't going nowhere homes me and my kid are gonna shine you on you are no good for putting me in a position where I have to do something with my child present. You know, um, if you're with your family, I'm not even going to make that attempt to get at you because you're with your familia. See, so many, see, so much that we do in life or we say affects our families. You know, it started out for me as a young child. And I'm not trying to make this, there's going to be haters. Are you always trying to make every video about yourself? I'm not. I'm just giving you situations. You know, I, um, when I was young, being incarcerated and doing what I did, you know, I put my family through some bullshit. You know, since 1991, 1991, we're now in 2024. Here's some knowledge you can't get in college. Here's some shit I haven't really told anyone outside of my family. Since 1991, okay, when I was a young kid, when my mom sent me to the store to go get some bread and milk and I decided I was going to chill out with the homies and go hang out and run away and get caught up in fucking murder cases and all kinds of things, right? In 1991, I have not been under the same roof, period, with my two sisters and my brother. It's been that long. I took that away from them. I stole that away from them. Us being all four together, even till now. Because there's always been someone incarcerated or someone working or someone got kids and we're all grown now and too busy to do their shit, you know? So we've never had that till all the way till now, 30 something years. So it great things that the mistakes you made and the choices you make affects your family. It really does. People don't think about that. They only think about the here and now. You know, with this situation, man, I know, you know, I got a chance to inter uh, introduce myself to Marvelous. I got a chance to interview him. And there was no active, non-active conversation. There was no gang banging, hey, homie, this type of shit conversation. There was only intellectual conversation because that's the type of individual he is. That's the type of energy he puts off. I was so interested in what he knew about the culture and, you know, the get down in Southern California back in them days, not as far as gangbanging, but as far as people 
on the Chicano movement, things like that, that we didn't conversate on bullshit. Now, there was, of course, a few questions asked that seemed gang related. And, you know, that's just picking someone's brain. But there's more to that man than just gang shit and just barrios and, and prison and all that. And the same thing with American Chola. If you watch his podcast, if you watch his platform, it's not always gang related. It's I know a lot of people um, don't like the way he says he tries to push people away from gangs or that he says, you know, it ain't all that. Be a man, get a job. And then at the same time, he's in video shoots and and chilling with known gang members and all that. But see, hey, I do the same thing. I got a lot of homeboys that are still active in the game. I got a lot of homeboys that are still um, in the mix. And it doesn't mean I'm not going to be their homeboys or I'm not going to present myself and chill with them. I have a carna asada or none of that. Because that's their thing. That's their business, bro. You know, if I'm, I'm right there and they're throwing a music video or whatever, it's my homie. If they're saying, hey, fucking stand right here, bro. You know, more than likely, me, myself, I'll probably say Charlie Holmes just because... I don't want to fucking dick nothing up. Basically, I don't want to be the reason why that fucker don't get watched. Or maybe I would be the reason why it gets watched. But again, you got to understand, every man makes a decision. That doesn't mean you can't hang around with your homeboys. It doesn't mean you're still trying to gangbang. You're still trying to be that one. It just means you happen to have homeboys. When you come from that lifestyle, you're always going to have friends that are still in that lifestyle. Or got one foot in, one foot out. It's part of the game. It's the way it is. So there's a lot of people... That are applying pressure and they're talking shit about either Gil or they're talking shit about Marvelous. Um, oh, Marvelous should have did this or should have did that. Or, oh, Gil should have did this or should have did Unless you were right there, the cucaracha in the fucking, in that, wherever they were at. Um, you shouldn't have, none, nothing you say matters. Okay? You know, there never should be wiggle room for violence. There never should be, hey, Holmes, you need to take the fate or you need to do this or else. You know, you shouldn't be voicing that anyways on YouTube. In the discussion, in the chat, on a message, you know, because there's law enforcement that watch that. There's a lot of people that watch that, man, that look at that, that are writing names down and, oh, I'll just make a fake account and do that. And, and so what's that? What point are you trying to get across? Some nameless fucking letter right there just saying, hey, Holmes, you're a punk. You're a sucker. You should have did this. Ain't no man, no punk or no sucker unless he's a punk or a sucker. Let's just get that through your head right now. Every man is going to do what he has to do as far as family and fuck the credibility. All that, all that old school shit, man. We're all, you're, we're talking about older gentlemen now. We're all in our forties and fifties when it comes to myself, Gil and Marvelous. Okay. So we're grown men with grown children. Okay. So there's never a way another man will dictate your program on the streets and tell you, Hey homie, you need to take that fade or you need to do this with this guy. You know, we're talking about all people who've had conversations before, you know, at one point in time, Gil and Marvelous were decent with each other. They they had open communication and conversation. I'm sure they talked on the phone many a times. And for whatever reason and what was said, yeah, there might be some type of animosity there where it can never be cool again. That's cool. Sometimes it's like that. There's people that I was once cool with that I can never be cool again with. And there's some people that I was once cool with that you never know, man. We might have a conversation and like grow men and figure out, you know, maybe I was in the wrong or maybe you were in the wrong. There's no victim mentality there. Sometimes a conversation can go a long way. You know, some people are not open for that because they want to be a cool guy. I'm not him. I'm not the cool guy. I'm the normal guy. So in this situation, all these people trying to pump this shit up, you know, what really happened? Let's really look at it from a different angle. So if Marvelous is with his child and decides to see someone and, and, and say, hey, homie, you know, you said you were going to do this, that, and the other. When you see me, I'm right here, bro. You know? And that guy decides to say, hey, you know what? Look, we ain't going to do nothing. You're with your kid, homes. There's another time and another place. Then I would definitely say, you know, that at that point, Marvelous was a little bit in the wrong for doing that. Of course, because he had his kid. But hey, people do shit all the time. You know, now if Gil approached him and was like, hey, bro, or if Marvelous approached him like, hey, what's up? What's up with all that shit you're talking? Maybe he was trying to conversate. Now, if Gil approached him, hey, homes, meet me in the bathroom, whatever. Brother, you already have priors for Mace and all kinds of other shit. There's people that are like, nah, Charlie, you always seem to be around others. Like people with their familia, they're not trying to get jumped. Homes. They want the one-on-one -on -one or just the one-on-one -on -one conversation. I could see where they'd be like, Charlie, right? Either way, in public, is, and especially when you have others with you, is not a place uh, to handle it. I understand that these guys have each other's phone numbers. It's easy to pick up a phone and be like, hey, bro, if you really want that, 
You know, if you really feel some type of way, let's meet over here, solo, bolo solo, maybe bring one, one camarada each and, and handle our business like men and then shake or don't shake. And, and there's ways to handle shit. You know, it doesn't always have to be a boxing match or public or, or let everyone see because at the end of the day, no one's talking about it a week later. No one cares. Everyone just wants to laugh at you, not with you. That's how it is. So, you know, I've seen a lot of, um, People picking and choosing sides, you know, when it comes to American Cholo Marvelous. And I can tell you, they're both good dudes, man. You know, I don't, me and Gil are not the best of friends. He talks shit about me. Um, he's done that. I've talked shit about him. It went back and forth. But that doesn't mean that I don't recognize his accomplishments as a person on this platform. That doesn't mean that, you know, I don't recognize him as a family man doing his thing. I, I recognize these things. And I'd be a hypocrite and a poop butt if I didn't say it. When it comes to Marvelous, he has my total respect. My total respect as a father, as a family man, as an entrepreneur, as a businessman. Everything that he does, man, I model a lot of my shit after Marvelous because I see myself in him. I see the way that he uh, conducts himself and carries, you know, carries on his business. I like that, man. So for all the people that are picking and choosing, it's going to be what it is. That's social media. You know, what you really have to think about is... What would have happened if one of these guys would have took it to the extreme? If someone would have really got hurt in this situation, families would have been affected. We're talking about a man that has his child with him. See, I've been in that position, having my kid with me and having to bite the bullet. Motherfuckers talking shit and you can't do nothing about it. You just got to be like, all right, all right. And then there are those that be like, oh, Holmes, I don't give a fuck. Holmes, I'll take flight anyways. Nah, that's not the way it works, bro. You'll only know that position when you're in that position. You can't say that. I would take flight anyways. Oh, we doubled back. Best believe that, right? There's no way. Um, not because I felt I needed cloud or I wanted to tell everyone about it because, you know, you put my daughter in a situation, you made me less of a man, you know, at that point. I'm supposed to protect my children. I couldn't do that, right? And, and, but it was, and then I had to think about it too. It was, it was me, my fucking mouth, my fucking gangbang and everything that put myself in that situation. See, there's always recourse and, uh, and, and reaction to everything that you do. You're never innocent. It wasn't like I was walking down the street and some motherfuckers pulled the strap out to me just because fucking I had a bald head, right? They knew exactly who I was and exactly why they were doing it because there was times and places when I thought I was big, bad, Billy, badass, pulling out the guns on them. So it was just retaliation, okay? So I wasn't a victim, um, but still, you don't do that when children are present. And as far as Gil goes, man, um, like I said, you know, he always has his homeboys around. He's always, he's never just doing his own thing by himself. Um, and that's how some people are when they're in public. They keep their camaradas with them, their homeboys close. You know, but at the end of the day, man, I respect that dude still. Um, and both of these individuals, man, they are both smarter than to let people uh, uh, just clown and, and pump some shit up that really isn't that serious. That could become serious, though. You know, shit definitely becomes serious. But I mean, look, anything can be left in the past. Look at the shit with Adam 22. If you guys notice, American Cholo just had Adam 16 on his podcast. A lot of water under the bridge, man. The last time I remembered, AC was pulling up 50 deep, 50 strong to get at Adam. To get at him. And, uh, you know, time has passed. And now he's able to settle his differences and conversate with them. You know, when it comes to the rasa, we could all do that, but it's harder for us to do that within each other because there's always allegations of non-active dropout, this and that. But if you could sit down with a white man that has allegations of talking to young kids and anything is possible, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, with that being said, you know, um, I just don't want to pick and choose sides because at the end of the day, I know both these guys got good heads on their shoulders and I hope that for the rasa's sake and for the sake of their families and themselves, man, they can see past the bullshit and all these people instigating and trying to pump shit up. It really ain't that serious. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, cholo lives matter. You know what I'm saying? They both bring a lot to YouTube. Whether you watch them or you don't, it's totally up to you. Whether you just watch me show, I fucking I can I get at you. I appreciate it. With that being said, are you guys ready? Super North Daniel coming this afternoon. Oh, it's going to be a good one. I promise you this. And uh, again, man, don't pick and choose sides when people are battling because nine times out of ten, it ain't going to amount to shit. And even if it does, man, um, that's their business, right? You know, shout out to Marvelous and I'll see you, American Chola. I can't say shout out and all that because they'll probably say, fuck that, drop out. What? You know, you're not active too. Well, you're just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Respects. You have my respect as a man. Now that's gangster. Um, thumbs up. 
thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all the rasa. Everybody, all people, man. Thank you guys for your time. I appreciate it. I look forward to dropping Super Norteño part, whatever it is right now. I think it's around part eight or nine. I don't know. Maybe the bonus footage. We're going to get down today. Gracias. Bang, bang.